Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may say that's a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We want to help you change your life today if you're dealing with a chronic long-term degenerative disease or you have a loved one who's dealing with a progressive, progressively deteriorating health challenge. The vast majority of our health challenges are defined as such we progressively deteriorate, or if you prefer, we rot. That's what happens to our bodies. For most of us, starting in our 40s, our metabolic and biochemical markers begin to change. We start to gain weight, our blood pressure goes up, we start to lose our hair. Basically, for most of us, our body falls apart somewhere, somewhere uh, noticeably anyway, somewhere in our 40s, but it happens even earlier than that. But if you're dealing with a health challenge, please understand it because it's in the body's nature to heal. Please understand that it's unnecessary by just making a few tweaks, a few simple tweaks in how we live our lives, how we eat our food, how we think our thoughts, the amount of sleep that we get, the amount of water we drink, the uh, amount of activity, physical activity we get. All of these are just simple little things that we can do to change our lives forever. If you're interested in, in learning more, if you have questions, we welcome your phone calls. If you want to contribute to the conversation or if you have a success story, 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010 is our number. Of course, if you want to join the Brightside Ben team and help me and my mission of spreading the word about how easy and how important a good nutritional supplement program can be, a good health regimen can be, eight, six, uh, please call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. They can tell you how you can join the team. You can also go to brightsideben.com pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com and sign up right off the website. Of course, you can also purchase longevity products off of brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and pharmacistben.com. All right, so last we spoke, we were talking about nutrition, nutrients, still a lot of confusion around vitamins, what they are, minerals, what they are, the essential nutrients, what they are. To put it simply, they're basically cell food. They're what a cell eats. A cell is a microscopic version of us, we're the macroscopic version of the cell. So, uh, we are composed of a hundred trillion of these things. And this is, you know, it, that idea doesn't lend itself to really being understood. You have to picture it. You can't necessarily understand it to get its impact and importance. You got to picture it. Our bodies, <clears throat> just look at your body right now. You know, it's hard to imagine, but it's made up of substructures a hundred trillion of these things that are creepy crawlies, really. If you put them in a little Petri dish, they creep and crawl. If you, put a, if you put food next to one of these cells that makes us up, it will crawl to the food, literally. If you put a little electric prod in there or you put some poison in there, it will go away from that. It will back, that back up. Can you imagine this? And we're composed of these things. When I say all disease is cell disease, I'm talking about these little critters. So keeping these critters healthy is vital. First of all, picturing that they're there and then understanding that it's important to keep these critters healthy. Now, there's 200 different kinds of them 200 or more, and we've only known about this for a couple hundred years, by the way. Cell theory, as it's called, really didn't 
really wasn't born until the middle of the 19th century. We didn't even know cells existed until the 17th century. You know, can you imagine the first guy who saw a cell who saw cells? It was a, it was a glass maker named Robert Hooke in the 1600s. He he's a guy who came up with the word cell. He named it after the rooms that monks used to live in. They used to call them cells. And so he saw under a microscope. He was a glass maker and he was playing around with lenses. And he invented, I think he may have invented the microscope, actually. But certainly he was one of the pioneers of the microscope. And one of the first things he did, he started to look at the world. He, first he put a drop of pond water in the microscope. Can you imagine that? Okay, this is a world where they didn't know any of this stuff. They didn't know there were microscopic entities. They didn't, if you couldn't, they didn't see it. They didn't think it existed, much like we are today. If we don't see it, we don't think it exists. So he put some, some ponds, pond water, dirty pond water under the microscope, and he was blown away. He saw a, an entire universe universe in the pond water in a drop of pond water and then he started to do bodily fluids he did blood and he did saliva and this is the first guy to look at things in a microscopic way and he was blown away understandably so one of the things he noticed was little tiny circular things that moved around and he named them cells and these cells are what make us up and when we're sick our cells are sick Nobody is. Nobody has an organ problem. We got cell problems, and the reason nobody tells us this is because doctors are not allowed in this world. The medical model is not allowed in the world of a cell. If you're a doctor out there listening, you know what I'm talking about, or a healthcare professional, you know what I'm talking about. The only thing the medical model can do is poison the cell. That's what this is really all about here, folks. This is what I'm railing about, and Dr. Wallach is railing about, and Dr. Glidden and all the people who are railing about the impotency of the medical model are really talking about the fact that the medical model is not allowed in the cell. But what they don't tell you, well, they don't tell you that, and what they also don't tell you is we don't need the medical model at the level of a cell because a cell doesn't need a lot of stuff. If a cell just has a few little things, it's, it's, a very, it's very low maintenance. Cells are very low maintenance. They don't need a lot of stuff. You know, they don't need any medical treatments, period. They need food, i.e. nutrition. That's what the mighty 90 essential nutrients are. They need oxygen and they need a clean place to do their work. That's it. Is that asking a lot? <laughs> you know, that's, that's if, what if we only wanted some nutrition and uh, 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 air to breathe and a clean place to do our work? You know, that's not asking a lot, and that's all a cell wants in order to do its business impeccably. And when I say do its business, I'm talking about trillions with a T or maybe more of chemical reactions every minute. That's what a cell does. This is mind-blowing, you guys. And it does it all with just a little nutrition, a little oxygen, and a clean place to do its business. It does it perfectly, and there's no drug on planet Earth or doctor on planet Earth or surgical procedure on planet Earth that can make a wit's bit of health difference at the level of a cell. Cannot happen. They can poison it. They can take it out. They can radiate it, but they cannot make it healthy. And the, uh, the drugs that we take, the beta blockers, the alpha blockers, the anti-diabetics, the, the statin drugs, the liver cells, the anti-seizure medicine, all of them represent poison to a cell. A cell does not take them in unless it's completely bombarded or overwhelmed. And once it's in there, it has to get processed as a poison. It has to get processed as a poison. So what's it going to be? You're going to be, if you're on a prescription drug, what's it going to be? The nutrients that are the cell foods or the drugs that are the cell poisons. Oh, but my statin drug is going to lower my cholesterol by 2.8% and it's going to raise my HDL by 6.6% and reduce my likelihood of a heart attack by 3.3%. But it's poison. All right. So we've been talking EFAs and fats, and I love talking about fats primary distinction fats versus water the water stuff is cool too polar po uh, water nutrients conduct electrical energy they're said to be polar because they pull electricity polar means to pull and uh the fats don't pull electricity they store electricity and this is why fats and uh, the fats and water go together the electrical energy of water soluble nutrients helps conduct the electrical energy that's stored in the fats but the storage is in the fats and that's really important when it comes to how these things work i'm pharmacist ben you're listening to the bright side we'll be back after this thank you for listening to gcn visit gcnlive.com today Thank you. 
right, we're back on the Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central. We got a 24-7 archive page at brightsideben.com or benfuchsarchives.com with years of archives and great health information. You can also uh, check out the longevity products, of course, at brightsideben.com and pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com. And please check out my Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. That's plural, truthtreatments.com. Retinol 5% gel made with a big old dose of retinol. I made it to be equipotent, have the same potency as retinoic acid 0.05%. There's about 100 times difference between retinoic acid, which is the most potent vitamin A, form of vitamin A, and retinol. So I want people to be able to get a 0.05% retin-A, basically, except it's way better than retin-A, or whatever the generic form, the generic one is called. If you go to the doctor, the dermatologist, and you're interested in anti-aging, or if you have acne, or if you have a dark spots, Almost guaranteed, if your dermatologist even has an ounce of understanding about medicine and how the skin works, you're going to get a prescription for retinoic acid. Well, if you don't want to deal with the doctor, you don't want to deal with the dermatologist, you don't want to deal with, the, uh, with getting a prescription and waiting in line at the drugstore and dealing with your insurance company, etc., check out truthtreatments.com and check out our retinol 5% gel. Not only is it equipotent to the stuff you get at the drugstore, but it's got a big dose, big dose of fat-soluble premium vitamin C with it. And that isn't in any prescription product, folks. And I made a lot of retinoic acid products in my day. Plus, no preservative, no oil, no silicon, uh, no filler of any kind. Lasts you about six months or more. Truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Also, our other vitamin C products, Truth Serum, uh, Truth Balm, and Omega-6 Healing Cream. All right, so we're talking fats... Uh, fatty vitamins, fats store energy. That makes fats more important for the long term. The B vitamins, they give you quick energy. Vitamin C, quick energy. Electrolytes, quick energy. Therefore, therefore if you wake up in the, when you wake up in the morning, you want to make sure you're doing your electrolytes and your B vitamins. That's what makes the Beyond Tangy Tangerine so, such a great product. It's loaded with these electrical nutrients, quick energy, conduct electrical energy. The fats, they're more long term. And the EFAs are the two most important of the and two most important of the fats, non-vitamin fats, that is, the essential fatty acids, you want to think of those as being inflammatory or pro-inflammatory uh, or anti-inflammatory. And really all fats, this is the key element when it comes to fats, inflammation. Inflammation is protection. EFAs, ultimate EFAs, omega-3s and omega-6s, these are the molecules of inflammation, the chem, these will, the, there's no inflammation or anti-inflammation without the EFAs. They control the inflammatory process. And we've talked about how vital that is and how important that is for protection as well as for disease. Makes, when you understand that, it makes it clear how super important EFAs are. And they're not really found in foods. It's very difficult to get them from foods. That's why supplementing with your ultimate EFAs is so, so, so important for almost every health issue you could name. Sometimes people will say, well, omega-3s are important for your brain, or omega-6s, they're important for the heart, and omega-6s are important for the skin, etc." Well, no, you don't want to think about it that way. They're important for everything. Every single function that a cell does that happens in the body is affected by the EFAs. Could it be maybe that uh, we just have, we don't need the drugs. Maybe we have an EFA deficiency problem. We do have an EFA deficiency problem, guaranteed, because they're not in foods and most people are not supplementing, present company excluded. You name the, the disease state, EFAs benefit. Joint health and skin health and brain health and heart health and kidney health. You name it, you got an effect with the, you're going to improve or the other go, it could go the other way. You could have a negative impact on the health of that system via taking or not taking your ultimate EFAs. Motrin, Advil, Naproxen, aspirin, these are all work with the, with the same system that EFAs do. They poison the EFA system. Check that out. Why do you think Motrin, Advil, Naproxen, aspirin, these are leading causes of death, overdose are? And uh, sometimes people will take, take them chronically and end up with kidney disease. Why is that? or heart disease. Why is that? It's because these are poisoning the inflammatory and anti-inflammatory system that's run by e 